and the view in this place is just, I don't even know what to say. Guys, this has to be the craziest thing I've ever done in my life. Welcome to the brand new Quibble Cup office. Let me take you on a journey. It seems that someone's recording over here. Let's take a look. Does he seem that busy? Yo, what's son? Yo, Tiger, I'm recording Road to Penthouse. I need you. I need your help right now. Also, is that Travis Scott on your computer? Oh my goodness. Also, look at that view. That view is crazy. Oh my goodness. Wait, that's a penthouse. You can literally see it right over there. That's crazy. Tiger, we'll do an office tour a different day, okay? Okay, sounds good. So, Jordy, how can you afford a penthouse? Well, that's a great question. Eight years ago, I started my amazing YouTube journey. And very quickly, I realized I'm making quite a lot of money. So I should be spending it on Ferraris, right? On Lambos. That's what a lot of other YouTubers Yeah, on um, expensive clothes. I decided that I didn't want to do that. And instead, I saved up all my money and I invested all of it into real estate. Damn, that's, that's pretty smart. You want to go? Do you want me to show you all the real estate I got? Uh... Yeah, let's go, let's go, I'm gonna show you, let's go! As you guys might know, I live in Amsterdam, one of the prettiest cities in the world. And that's why I also got one of the prettiest houses in the world. This one, the corner one, and the one right next to it. It's also part of the real estate portfolio. Oh, let's go. All right, right here on the corner, there's a water shop. If you wanna get the most delicious water ever in the world, you gotta go here in Amsterdam. There's no better water than that. Right over here, beautiful cosmetic store. You also gotta check it out, Lab K. And then right above it, there's apartments. Formerly Airbnb, kinda Airbnb, slash short stay, but because of Corona, no one's here. So if you wanna rent a place in Amsterdam, call me up. It's a really nice location, really nice apartment. All right. Mike! There's more, let's get to the next one. Hi everyone, it's Jordi's editor here. In this clip, Jordi's audio is really <laughs> But in this clip, Jordi pretty much talks about how he owns his own gas station with a gym next to it. Like, that's insane. What the <laughs> Jordi? My real estate portfolio wouldn't be complete if I didn't have a villa. This is a beautiful villa. With, which has like a cherry blossom in the front garden. Yay, but it's the Netherlands, so it's never <laughs> blooming ever, like ever. All right, so we got permission, guys. I'm not gonna film the inside because I respect the people's privacy. You know, they have a beautiful, beautiful villa they're living in. But here's the garden, as you can see. The building actually extends into a separate building, which is pretty nuts. And it just keeps on going and keeps on going. It just keeps on going. And then there's a nice garden here with some plants and this and that. This is where they park their mopeds, their bikes. This is where they hide the bodies. I'm joking, they don't. And then there's a massive garage over here too. Beautiful. All right, so we're at the next place. We have Saskia's Pet Palace, AKA the best pet palace in the world. So right over here is another store. And then right over here, we have Nuis, I don't know how to pronounce this in English, Naus, Naus, which is like the best electronics store in the Netherlands. I'm just saying, if you wanna get your electronics, get them over here. This is another amazing, beautiful property. It goes on quite a while, all the way to the back over there, to the left, and there's a few really pretty apartments above it. Man, I own a lot of real estate. This is pretty crazy. So we just went to Saskia to get Zora a nice little bowl. And she actually gave it to me for free. So shout out to you, Saskia. You're the best. Everyone go to Saskia's pet palace to get your pet stuff. <laughs> so, welcome to my house. This is Zoro. Oh, 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 oh. oh, Zoro, Zoro, relax, relax, Zoro. Relax, relax. And, oh, oh my goodness. He's a little bit angry today. Can we get a shot of Zoro? He looks so cute, but he's so angry right now. So welcome to my current home. This is where I live in this beautiful apartment. I love art, I love design, I love mirrors. I've been living here for about four years. And as you can see, this place isn't that bad. But I thought with my new home, we need to go even crazier. But first, let me show you what I got over here. Check this out, come, come. This is 
my Japanese toilet. It can, it can water your butt and clean it. Next up, my beautiful, beautiful dining table. You know, play my little, my little cards. I do some card tricks. You want to see a card trick? All right, think of a card, any card. Was this your card? <laughs> I knew it. So this is my living room right now. I have this massive home theater at home, you know, playing on the brand new Xbox Series X. I also have a PlayStation, but not the PlayStation 5 just yet. I'm still waiting. Oh, and take a look at this. This is my bike. My bike's really dirty right now, but it's an electric bike. It goes really fast. This is like my favorite Korean artist, Kim Young Ji. Just look at this. This guy's so flipping talented. And these, this is what everyone loves in the house. Now the crazy thing is everyone's always like, oh my God, Jordy, these things are so expensive. I bet they're so expensive. Nah, man, these, these things, they're like toys pretty much. I got myself a little chess table. I love playing chess. I once won for Mr. Beast. We had a chess game for a thousand dollars. I won. He didn't, unfortunately. And then right over here, that's what the ladies love. <laughs> we have ourselves a beautiful jacuzzi on the balcony. Now, in the new penthouse, I thought I wanna have at least a jacuzzi. I don't wanna downgrade from the place I'm living in right now. But instead of getting a jacuzzi, we're getting a swimming pool. This is the kitchen, beautiful American fridge. Come look at this fridge. Isn't this such a delicious looking fridge. Now, one of the things about having a luxurious apartment or whatever, I'm trying to create like something really special is that you have this really clean kitchen and it's so nice, but then there's just, the, the dishwasher is full and there's just a glass in the, in the sink. So I say, you know what? Why don't I get two dishwashers in my new place? I only have one over here, unfortunately. Look at all this candy. I don't eat the candy. I never eat the candy. I've never had a single candy ever, ever. I don't eat the candy ever. I have a little balcony here, but the balcony goes all the way around. So if we jump out real quick, you can see this completely abandoned balcony because it's not summer. Take a look at this. It's a secret entrance to my bedroom. Welcome to the master bedroom. So as you can see, this exactly, this spot right over here, is where all the magic happens, okay? I got myself a wake up light, a book. I don't know if you guys have known this, but I've been single for like eight months now. When a new lady comes over and she's like, oh, Jordy, I'll put you to bed. She'll look at this book and go, oh my God, you read? I'm like, I've not touched that book in like eight months, guys. I, it, I've never even read a page of this book, but they all of a sudden, they all think, damn boy, you smart. So we got some shoes over here, some, television over here, but then boom, join me into the master bathroom on suite. Got my perfumes, got my motivational post-it notes, got my art, and let's not forget a double shower so that when you're showering here with someone else, no one's ever cold. But I, I always shower on my own. <laughs> <laughs> Having a big house definitely does not make you feel lonely. These are my awards. Thank you so much, cops. Look, that's a hundred thousand. This a million and this 10 million. A lot of Murakami's in the hallway, as you can see right over here. Vex, your boy. Shout out to your boy, Vex. We got a restroom here. And then this is a guest bedroom. This is where my best friend Jeremiah sleeps right now. I've known Jeremiah for 15 years. He just sits here, plays games all day. He loves Tibia. Shout out to Tibia. And then right over here, it's yo! Who are you? What are you guys doing? This is my Gucci mattress. I sleep in this room, man. All right. It's been like five months ago, don't you remember? This is Tiger. I don't know if you guys know Tiger from all the videos we've done. Of course. I'm and in every single video, guys. Tiger sleeps on the ground. That's a Pakistani thing. No, no, guys. <laughs> And then finally, the place that everyone loves, the walk-in closet. I got way too many shoes. I got way too many clothes. I got way too many jackets. I got way too many belts. And if you're not careful, then I'll slap you with this one. So welcome to my penthouse. A penthouse wouldn't be complete if it didn't have a really crazy garage. So I thought if I'm trying to live GTA 5 in real life, I need an insane car collection too. 
Now, I don't have any cars right now besides the Fiat Barth, but this is my parking spot right over here. That's not all. This is also my parking spot, which means I can literally park one car there, one car here, and one car here. But it doesn't end there. This is also my parking spot. Currently, one of the people who's working on the place has been parked here, but this is also my parking spot. So I could comfortably park five cars, maybe six small ones here. Which car should I get? Let me know in the comment section below. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my very own floor. Welcome to the penthouse. Come over this way. This is literally insane. You enter through the beautiful elevators and the view in this place is just, I don't even know what to say. Guys, this has to be the craziest thing I've ever done in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, at 100,000 likes, I'll post an entire house tour on the brand new penthouse. Road to Penthouse, part two, coming soon.